What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you how to fix an LED LG TV. Um, if you want me to produce more videos or uh, TV repair videos, let me know by giving me a thumbs up because that lets me know that you guys are interested in these types of videos. So right here we have an LED LG TV. Model number is 42LN5400. This issue may apply to other LED TVs as well. Uh, so we got horizontal and the vertical lines all over the screen they're inconsistent, they're flickering on and off. Now, if there are permanent vertical and horizontal lines, that could be a bad LCD panel. Now, we're gonna try our luck with replacing the TCOM board because that it controls the LCD panel. I'm gonna remove the heat shield from the TCOM board. Uh, so this is the power board. It supplies the voltage to the main logic board and the TCOM board, which is directly connected to the LCD panel. We're going to unplug the power cord before working on the TV. If you have a standby light on the TV, that lets you know that you have standby voltage going to the main logic board. Here's pictures of what a bad TCOM board may uh, show on the screen. And here's pictures of obviously a bad LCD panel. Uh, right here is also a bad LCD panel. There's a bad connection on the ribbon cable connection right there. Now, if you have a black screen, then that could be bad LED strips. These are the two sources I use to buy TV boards. See the links below. So I wanna lift up on the latches on the TCOM board and remove the ribbon cable connections carefully. Squeeze the sides and wiggle that connection off. Do not pull on the wiring and we're going to remove the TCOM board from the chassis. It may stick because of a thermal pad underneath it. There's the stamp, um, right? that is the part number that you want to use when ordering the new TCOM board. Uh, this is the new TCOM board. They're actually uh, refurbished boards and they're all under warranty. So whether you buy it from shopjimmy.com or electropartsonline.com, they are warranted boards, so don't worry. And you want to press down on the TCOM board, make sure the thermal pad sticks. That's going to help transfer the heat from the TCOM board to the chassis of the TV. And then you want to slide in the ribbon cable connections. Um, you want to make sure the line is flush with the latch, otherwise you're going to get vertical lines on the screen. And then you want to squeeze the sides of that plug and wiggle that in. Make sure it's secure. Check all your connections. Make sure that all the connections are flush and even and put the heat shield back on and put in the micro Phillips screws. Use a hand screwdriver because if you use power tools, it may crack and damage the board. So make sure you use a hand screwdriver. And once that is done, you wanna put the TV back together. I'm putting the TV stand on currently. And now plug it in the power cord last yeah, if you have an LG TV or a Vizio TV, it may take a couple minutes for the TV to boot up, so be patient. Looks like we don't have horizontal or vertical lines on the screen, which is a good thing, but I'm gonna plug in my Chromecast to be sure. And sure enough, the screen is clear from any horizontal or vertical lines. So that's how you do it. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on this link right here or down below. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them. Help someone out. And check out my other TV repair videos by clicking on this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching.